Hey there, it's Christine from Nurse in the Making. Today, we're gonna be unpacking the complete nursing school bundle. But before we dive in, I'm gonna tell you the story of why I created the complete nursing school bundle. I went to an accelerated nursing program. This was like a very intense nursing program and I found myself really frustrated with all of the textbooks. I'm sure your nursing professor has said to you before, just read the textbook. And so I found myself in this fast paced program, flipping through pages and pages and not retaining anything. I would take these exams and notice that it was really only testing on the core concepts, the main ideas, the big bullet points. But yet my textbook had so much fluff in it that I would be frustrated reading pages and pages. Crazy enough, I found that other students related to this frustration as well. So many students tell me, I don't know how to read the textbook. I'm not retaining anything. So that's why I made these study guides. I needed to take all the fluff out of the textbooks and make study guides that were the main core concepts of these difficult topics in nursing school. Basically the complete nursing school bundle is taking a long page in your textbook and breaking it down into the need to know information. I found that for me, like visuals, fun memory tricks, mnemonics really helped me retain this information and just being able to read it in a fun, visually appealing way. So that's why the complete nursing school bundle has helped over 40,000 students because so many students like myself need fun visual aids to learn these hardcore concepts. So let's dive in. The first page is the table of contents. This is all the stuff that's in the bundle. The bundle is broken down into subjects. So you take like med search class, pediatrics class, mother baby class. The study guides are broken down into those classes. So first we have a head to toe assessment. Almost all students will have to do a live head to toe assessment on a real patient in their health assessment class. I remember this being really horrifying because you're standing in front of your professors on a real patient doing a head to toe assessment. A lot of schools give you a, a long rubric that's really confusing, so I broke it down into easy to understand for your head to toe assessment so you can ace it. The next bundle that we have is dosage calculation. Every single student that I know in all nursing schools will have you take a dosage calc exam in the beginning of your semester. For me, I had to get a 95% on this exam. I've even known some schools that make you have 100% on this exam to stay in the program. So to say the least, knowing dosage calc and med math is extremely important. It goes over abbreviations, dosage calc rules, all the formulas that you need to know. The thing I like the most about this is it gives you a 10 question practice test with details explanations. So you can actually quiz yourself before doing the real deal. Next we have lab value cheat sheet. This is crucial for nursing school and the NCLEX. You have to know these lab values and there are a lot of them, which is why I have some fun memory tricks to help you remember these. Next we have blood types, which is important. And then we have electrolyte imbalances. We know for med surge, pharmacology, fundamentals, and basically all of your nursing exams will have electrolytes incorporated into it because they're so important. So this kind of breaks it down. I have a lot of mnemonics in here, which is like really easy to remember and different fun memory tricks. For example, for hyponatremia, which we know is low sodium levels, you can remember for the nursing considerations, add salt, which is administer diuretics, daily weights, safety, airway precautions, limit water intake, and teach. So that's just kind of like a memory jogger so you can remember these nursing considerations. Next we have fundamentals of nursing. This is like the basics of fundamentals class. We have abbreviations, how to answer priority questions, which is crucial to know in nursing school. We have ethics, infection control, blood transfusions, IV therapy, which is really important. And I kind of also have fun memory tricks for this. So hypertonic, enter the vessel, isotonic stays where I put it, hypotonic go out of the vessels. So like I said, this book is full of fun memory tricks. Then we have blood transfusions, we have pressure ulcers, administration of different routes, which is really important to know. The next bundle that we have is mental health disorders. This is for mental health class. So it goes over therapeutic communication, personality disorders, depression, eating disorders, delirium versus Alzheimer's. Next we have the mother baby bundle, which of course is for your mother baby class. This was one of my favorite classes in nursing school. We have abbreviations, the GTPAL, GTPAL practice questions, pregnancy signs and symptoms, all the changes you're gonna see in pregnancy, Nagel's rules, stages of labor, and then it kind of goes through fetal heart tones, which is really important. And basically the labor and birth process. We know the five factors that affect labor and birth that goes into detail in all of those. We have 
have a newborn assessment, postpartum assessment, and postpartum hemorrhage. Next we have pediatric milestones and pediatric bundle. Of course, this is for your pediatrics class and you might be able to use some of it in your mother baby class as well. So this goes through the pediatric milestones. Then we have the actual pediatric bundle. So this is including like CPR, vital signs, Piaget stages of development with fun memory tricks, variations in pediatric anatomy. We know children are very different in their anatomy compared to adults. So this is a summary of all of that. We have SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, neural tube defects, bronchiolitis, Ray's syndrome, epiglottitis, fever management, cystic fibrosis, which is a big one, fetal circulation in utero, going through that process. Next we have med surge. This is the biggest portion in the complete nursing school bundle. This is because most traditional students will take two semesters of med surge. So med surge one, med surge two, and even advanced med surge. So it's a pretty big and crucial class that you're gonna take in nursing school. So the med surge is broken down into different systems like renal, cardiac, respiratory, and et cetera. I'm just gonna hit the high points because like I said, it's a pretty big bundle. So for the renal and urinary system, it's gonna cover kidney overview. We're gonna have chronic and acute kidney injury, nephrotic syndrome, types of dialysis, which is important to know, UTIs, renal calculi, aka kidney stones. Next, we have the cardiac system. We know cardiac is really important and it's a pretty big aspect of your med surge exam, so it's a pretty large bundle. So we have cardiac terms, blood flow through the heart, electrical conduction, and we have each KGs, which are really, really hard for a lot of students. So I try to break it down in an easy way. So we have six steps to interpret EKGs and then we go through all the different types of EKGs. Then we have heart failure, of course. We have coronary artery disease, peripheral vascular disease, angina, MI, and all of those. Next, we have the endocrine system. In the endocrine system, we have type one diabetes, hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and all those signs and symptoms, which are pretty crucial to know in nursing school. We have all of our thyroid disorders, parathyroid disorders, adrenal cortex disorders, pituitary gland disorders. Next, we have respiratory system in the med surge bundle. So we have like lung sounds, COPD, we have asthma, we have pneumonia. Then we have hematology disorders, which is just a pretty much an overview of iron deficiency anemia and thrombocytopenia. Then we have GI, which covers acute and chronic pancreatitis, kind of like a comparison of the two. We have IBD and then types of hepatitis. The types of hepatitis has like a nice chart so you can see all the different ones, how they're same, how they're different. And then we have cirrhosis. Next we have neurological disorders within the med surge bundle. We have an entire overview of the neurological assessments. There are a lot of ways you can assess someone's neurological status. So it's important to know those as the nurse. Then we have seizures. We have seizure precaution, what to do as a nurse when a patient is having a seizure. We have stroke. And then we have a big chart about cranial nerves, which you might need to know in your patho class fundamentals and for med surge, it kind of pops up a lot. Next, I have burns, which is broken down in its own section. So we have types of burns, burns injury, phases of burn management, basically what you're gonna do as the nurse when someone is coming into the ED with burns. We have fluid resuscitation and also practice questions because a lot of students get confused about the Parkland formula and how that fits into a practice question on an exam. And you will definitely get that practice question on an exam. Next, we have the dreaded ABGs. I try to break this down into like a one, two, three kind of thing. So first, you know your lab value. Second, you say respiratory or metabolic. And then three, you say uncompensated or compensated. So I have a summary here, four must know components. Then you break it down into a three easy steps. And then I talk about in depth each of them. So the causes, what's the kidney and the lungs doing? Because we know those differ in the way they compensate with each other. And then we have metabolic and respiratory here. I love this because it just summarizes it in a really simple way. Next we have pharmacology. So the first thing we have is the suffixes, prefixes, and antidotes. If you've ever heard me talk, you know how much I emphasize these suffixes because they can save you in pharmacology class. So it's in different systems. So for example, if you're on cardiac, you can see all the different suffixes that you'll see in cardiac medications. I also have have antidotes with fun little memory tricks to remember. So for example, we have benzodiazepines and the antidote for that is fluminazil. And so I remember this, like you fly fast in your Mercedes Benz. So there's a ton of fun memory tricks for the antidotes. We have common therapeutic levels. And then next we have the actual pharmacology bundle. This is the medications you'll see. It's kind of broken down into different flags. So we have pain management, which is like opioids, NSAIDs. Then we have all the antibiotics, which is like our psyllins, our sulfanamide, 
signs. Then we have cardiac medications, which are our diuretics, antihyperlipidemics, anticoagulants, antihypertensives. We have digoxin and nitroglycerin. Then we have respiratory medications, which is corticosteroids, our bronchodilators. Next, we have psychiatric medications. This is like medications affecting the central nervous system. I personally love this antidepressant cheat sheet because it kind of gives you a breakdown of the four most common types of antidepressants. Then we have antipsychotics. So that's the pharmacology bundle. An added bonus that I have is templates and planners. So these are meant to be paired out and made photocopies of, and I'll show you an example of what they look like. So this is an example. This is a concept map template. So the purpose is that you can make a photocopy and make multiple so you can write in it. This is a course tracker. So you can kind of track your assignments, the due date and the grade you got. And it also has a test and quiz tracker. So you say, hey, when is this test? What chapters are covered and what grade and did I pass or not? You can write in here, there are enough to do that or you can make photocopies and duplicate it. And then we also have like an hourly planner. We have a monthly planner and then a weekly planner. It is really important to be organized in nursing school and plan this out. So you can make a ton of photocopies for every single week and fill it out on a weekly basis. Next we have note taking templates. So this is like a med surge note taking template and then we have a pharmacology note taking template. Now that you know what's in the complete nursing school bundle, I'm gonna kind of walk you through the different formats that you can get the bundle in. So you can get it in a spiral bound version, which is this version right here. It's probably the most durable pieces of paper that you're gonna get but it's also matte so it's easy to write on with a pen or a pencil and then we have the hole punched which you can get two-sided hole punched or one-sided hole punched this is great to put into a binder if you want to separate the study guides maybe pull it apart from other baby class or pediatrics class then we have not hole punched one-sided and not hole punched two-sided a lot of students put these in page protectors to protect the pages and then put that in a binder then we have a digital download version this is great if you like to use your iPad and maybe don't feel like you would use a paper copy you can find the links to purchase the complete nursing school bundle in the description below. Happy studying, future nurses!